One of my mentors, who I won't say who it is, taught me something about technical analysis that I had never seen before. Being okay losing 1% of your bag or 1% of your trade. I don't trade this, I buy one day and I sell the same day. No, no, no. I'm in here trying to make $5 million trades. I don't need to take a ton of trades. I just need to take a few calculated trades every single month. And I could have literally lost everything, but I didn't. But I knew I wasn't going to. It was very obvious. Some of the smartest people I knew literally said their entire net worth was in crypto. I just put my entire net worth in crypto. And now you're here listening to me. Why? because all I did was get the right information, information that you guys didn't have, but that you can have if you find the right places. You need businesses, you need people. People think that, you know, a lot of people think that this idea of businesses being in Silicon Valley, being listed on the NASDAQ, guys, some of the most profitable businesses <clears throat> in the world are privately held companies. I know private, literally look up the 50 wealthiest privately held companies. They do tens of billions of dollars a year and they're private. You, you've never even heard of them. All the people that are that own the ports that you're shipping your little bullshit ass prod, products from back and forth, those are privately held companies doing 150 billion dollars a year. Look it up. So this idea that you know you need to you need to get acquired, that you need to go public, it doesn't work that way. Building a long term business takes time, and if you build it right and you find an evergreen niche and you can actually solve a problem that people have, uh, then it'll work. But this idea of, you know, convincing people to continuously buy bullshit, eventually when people don't have money, they're not going to buy bullshit. They're just going to buy things that they actually need. So mm -hmm. that's kind of been like my direction and my mindset. I know I kind of went on a tangent there, but oh, yeah, you're fine. Path, brother. No, this is extremely valuable. I mean, I'm sure you understand, you know, the value of the things that you're talking about. Uh, and I also understand it. So something that you also mentioned is, um, and what I've been seeing through just observing you uh, on social media is you know you're very against these people and like th these moon boys people that are basically regurgitating whatever you know the public thinks um how well actually i know the answer you learned how to think uh and that was a huge crucial step but my question is did you go through like um some sort of struggle like did you learn the hard way or how is it that you you learned about this um i i haven't learned the hard way thankfully I've lost a, I've lost millions of real quick. If you appreciate these clips and interviews that I put forward for you, then please make sure you use our Shopify link in the description to start your own Shopify business with an exclusive deal. And also make sure you check out at chemilab.com for additional resources, free tools, guides, and just a lot of interesting stuff that will help your journey. Even some software deals that are exclusive to chemilab.com. So make sure you do that and continue watching the video dollars in the crypto market millions. I've lost millions in a week I, I think my worst week was like 2.5 million dollars that i lost right like it was fucking nuts um but uh i was still i've made so much more money that those losses like they they didn't hurt me to the point that they taught me. one of my mentors who i won't say who it is taught me something about um technical analysis that i had never seen before and what he had taught me was something about uh pattern recognition in events and pattern recognition in charts. And that usually you can find correlation between similar events and similar chart patterns and movements and be able to kind of predict the outcome based off of things that have happened in the future and you expecting those outcomes to, uh, to come again. Mm -hmm. um, simple things like looking at, uh, looking at how Bitcoin peaked uh, with uh, the ETF announcement or uh, the hope that there was going to be uh, an ETF or when Coinbase listed publicly uh, or when Luna uh, went to zero or when BitConnect uh, crashed or when Mt. Gox uh, uh, went to zero. There are instances where you can go back and look at how price performed and look at what are the events, good and bad, that then led to this potential catalyst. And it's looking at that and not being biased about your bags. Being okay losing 1% of your bag or 1% of your trade and then being like, okay, I'll get back in. Most people aren't willing to lose small, right? The thing is, it's not about timing the exact time of entering the market. I don't trade this like I buy one day and I sell the same day. No, no, I'm in here trying to make $2 million trades, $5 million trades. I don't need to take a ton of trades. I just need to take a few calculated trades every single month and that's it, right? And that, And I'm good. The thing is, I've come to the place where now I have size, right? So like I can actually make a million dollar trade and I can leave it and go to bed and I'll be okay. I'm down 10%. Mm -hmm. I know most people can't do that. But in order to get to that point, you either need to do one thing. 
you need to make a fuck ton of money and be really, really ready and in the right place and in the right communities for when the next bull run happens and get in early, hopefully, mm-hmm. and have a lot of money or understand that a lot of people are going to be making money, spending money, and then also investing. Most people aren't going to invest everything and go full degen like I did. I could have literally lost everything, but I didn't. But I knew I wasn't going to. It was very obvious. Some of the smartest people I knew uh, in the space literally said they were, they were their entire net worth was in crypto. And since I know that they're the smartest people, I didn't fucking question it. I just put my entire net worth in crypto. And now you're here listening to me. Why? Nice. Because all I did was get the right information, information that you guys didn't have, but that you can have if you find the right place. Thank you.